Hi, I'm Ian, and today I'm going to be showing you the basics of TortoiseKit. So, um, in my first lesson, I made a project, added a hi.txt. So, now, there are a few basic functions of using Git. Um, and that would be committing, pulling, and pushing. Uh, normally, you don't use the other things, unless you're doing something specific. So, for the first thing, I'll show you how to commit. Um, let's go and add some random text. There you go. Woo. Sorry. Um, let's save that. And right click on your folder, git commit, master. This is how you commit. Okay. Um, basically, um, unlike other systems like Subversion, there's a difference between committing and putting the code in the repository. Committing is basically just storing the code into your your Git project's history, your repository history. It does not mean that it everyone else can get to it. Committing just means that it's stored in history. Um, on the other hand, pushing pushing means you're actually sending all of your repository over to the remote repository. Usually you just send the changes. So first you have to commit to push because pushing sends all of the changes in the repository. Um, committing just changes the repository. If you push without committing, you haven't added any changes to the repository. So that's not doing anything. You have to commit, then push. So yeah, right click and to commit, git commit master. Click on that. Now message. Second commit. Okay. Now click this OK thing over here. This sign thing, this is used for like Linux and stuff. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. I don't use it. So click this OK button over here. Make sure you highlight all of the files that are changed. Um, uh, if you added new files, they won't appear here. So click OK. Now close this. Now right click your project again. Move your mouse over toward the skit and click this push thing. Push pushes it. And now branch. Don't worry about that right now. Destination, remote origin. This is going to push it to the origin repository that you specified when you added it to this little dialog here. So click OK and it's going to push all of your changes over to origin which is going to be your github see second commit so now pulling pulling is a lot different um to pull you go to towards git you click pull okay and this will j just basically sync up your repository with the remote one unless you have more changes than them. So what happens when you um, want to undo something? Go to Tortoise again. Here. Let's edit this file a little bit. Okay. Now let's say we didn't like these changes. Okay. And yeah. See how it, this, um, this red thing means that it got changed. Right click go to tortoise git and you're gonna wanna find revert if I can find it oh. and now choose the files that you wanna revert back to the state of the last commit click OK and everything's reverted see stuff is gone so that's pretty nice um, let's see what happens when we add something and we decide to commit or no. We decide to commit ACF and push. So now this will be on a third commit. Third commit will be added. And first I'll show you how to undo stuff. Um sorry. Tortoise git, go to show log, and over here you can see all of the commits. Click on the commit you want to go to, right click reset master to this and you want to select mixed 
Okay, this will put your branch back or your repository back to how it was back then. Or actually, I'm sorry. You you want to go with hard? Sorry about that. Um, click OK, and now your project should be at the state as it was back then, which it was. Um, hmm. Now, let's say we want to edit this file again, okay? And this will be a completely separate thing. This, this is going to be the new third commit. New third commit. Okay? Now, when you try to push this, you're going to get an error. Failed to push some refs. This is because the project's third commit has already been done, but it's different than yours. Okay? So that's a problem. What you're going to want to do is, if you want theirs to be exactly the same as yours, you're going to want to do push and do force overwrite existing branch. But there's another thing called merging. You're going to want to do tortoise git, pull, and OK. And it's going to merge the files together that got changed. Now, see, there's a conflict because we edited the same file as their third commit that we did. So go to tortoise git, go to the file first of all. Go to tortoise git, edit conflicts. And now this is a nice little edit conflict conflict editor. That's going to show all of the differences between your files. So you can just select which file you want. Um, you can select if you want this file before this or this before this. Now select the section, use text file and you have all these options. So I'm going to go and use my text block before theirs. So click Save. Theirs is the remote, by the way. Um, and you're going to want to right-click, Tortoise Git, Resolve. And this is going to resolve all of the conflicts, and you need to commit. And... There you go. Now you're going to have all of the commits in here. And a nice little tool with Tortoise Kit is you can see the history. You can see how there were two different branches. So those are the very basics. Uh, another thing is if you want to get a repository that already exists, let's say this one, um, go to git read only, copy this, okay? and do git clone. This clones the repository for you. You can't push to it because the other guy owns it, but you have a copy of it. So click OK and everything will be on your system. Everything from this will be on yours. And you can treat it as its own git repository. If you commit to it though, you can't push back. You're gonna have to fork it, which is a whole different story. Um, so yeah, that's basically it with Tortoise Kit. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below or add me in Skype, simply ENM. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and goodbye.